Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to my full in-depth gaming review of the OnePlus Nord. Now, I know a lot of you checked out my uh, first gaming impressions, and you asked me for, of course, game settings, uh, temperatures, all that stuff, and you're gonna get it in this video. But let's talk about the OnePlus Nord briefly before we get into those games, of course, that we all love and care about. Now, this device sports a 6.4 inch display. It's a 90 hertz display, which is what we like for gaming, which means, you know, more fluid gameplay. You should get high frame rates if possible. Now, the touch sampling, of course, is not increased from 60 hertz. So you will notice that while you're gaming, it just feels a little bit sticky, not as smooth as you would like, but it's still really solid all the way through. Now, in terms of uh, specs, you're running the Snapdragon 765 processor. It's a 5G processor. Also, this is a powerful processor that should give you some good gameplay. Now, when you guys checked out my uh, gaming first look, a lot of the games ran well and smooth, but you cared about how the performance is. And we'll talk about performance and also we'll talk about battery life as well because it houses a 4100 roughly milliamp battery and it's also got warp 32 charging so you're getting the same fast charging you'd expect on devices like the oneplus 8 and oneplus 8 pro um, on this device as well so fast charging is there but what how about battery dissipation especially when you're gaming so what we're going to take a look at first is some of the games so call of duty mobile of course pubg mobile uh fortnite we're going to take a look at also a few other games like vainglory as well and two other games that i think you guys would definitely like but we'll show you the settings for each game telling you where the graphic settings are and then after we'll see some gameplay and we'll talk Thank you. 
So the very first thing you notice is that a lot of all the games ran well. They ran really well at the settings that we showcased those games at. Now some of you are really asked about PUBG, could we do extreme HDR gaming? You can't. It's just not available at this point in time. I'm sure there are ways to unlock it, but right now that's what we're getting. And I know somebody did ask me if I was able, I could actually showcase uh, the Chinese version of PUBG uh, Mobile, which I just wasn't able to do. And again, it's a lot of hassle unless you're the kind of person that wants to play that. So you know, take it as you wish. But in general, games like Call of Duty Mobile ran really well in Smack settings. Vainglory also did as well. Uh, same thing uh, with the games that I showcased. So we even saw uh, Fortnite ran at 45 frames a second, which was nice. So it was good to see that as, as well. Now, a couple of things to notice, it also has a game space. Now the game space isn't, doesn't give you a lot of features you expect from a gaming device, but it, it shows you all your games. So we saw Bright Memory Mobile, which is a really cool game, graphically intensive. Um, Vainglory is there, you have all your games listed in there. And you have a few settings you can go to. You can see the time, amount of time you play uh, games per day, most plays games you've, you've actually used your battery usage as well. Those are the kind of things you can go through, but it doesn't give you any of your stats like the FPS for games, so I use a separate software for that. Uh, but you can see, uh, you know, PUBG Mobile ran around 60 frames per second, same thing as Call of Duty Mobile, and then Fortnite was at 45 frames per second, so we got that, and Vainglory ran at 90 frames per second, so that was actually cool to see. Now when it came to temperatures, the, the system went up to about 37, 38 degrees Celsius, which is fine and actually was pretty good, especially for a device that doesn't have any special cooling whatsoever. So that was actually good to see. It ran warm, but it was quite playable and easy to use. In terms of battery drain, uh, playing at around 100% uh, with the battery life and playing, playing for like an hour or so, uh, I've lost about maybe close to about 20% of battery life. So battery life usage on this device was actually pretty good, especially playing intensive games like you know, PUBG Mobile, uh, some Fortnite, and even Bright uh, Memory Mobile as well. So you got, you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck. And think about it this way. This device, now the version I do have here has uh, 12 gigs of RAM, uh, 256 gigabytes of storage, but you can start off from six gigabytes of RAM, um, 64 I believe. And that starts at $335, and I think that would still run. Even if you're not getting that version, you start off with the uh, base version that is in other parts of the world apart from India, that starts at 8 gigabytes of RAM for 400 bucks. You're gonna get this kind of gaming experience. So uh, I don't think you'll find a lot of Android devices out there that are priced starting at $335 to give you the kind of gaming experience you're going to get on this device. Now, you're not gonna run everything on max settings. There's some games, like you said, PUBG Mobile just wouldn't run at max, but that is to be expected. I like what I got with it. Uh, and also, I like the extra features you're gonna get with this device. It's got a really solid camera. The images I took from the camera are really nice. Daytime photos, some nighttime shots as well. I think, you know, even the different, uh, you've got, you know, um, a wide angle lens, you've got a regular lens, a zoom lens, or at least a 2x zoom. And everything just comes out really nice and you really can't go wrong spending $335. I'm gonna stress it again. $335 for this device to give you that kind of gaming performance, great image quality, a solid build overall, uh, fast charging included. Um, I mean, what's not to like? I think overall, if you're a gamer, if you're looking to cut costs and not spend a lot of money, the OnePlus Nord is probably the device you should pick up. It's going to be one of my top devices of this year. Uh, not just because its price point is really attractive, but it's the combination of the price point and the fact that the performance is packed in and you're going to see a lot of good things from it. Now, if you want to see some camera comparisons, I was thinking of doing one, but definitely go ahead and check out my buddy um, Super Saf. He's doing a camera comparison with another device that's priced at $400, the iPhone SE, to see how well they actually compete with each other. So uh, check that out. But any more things you want to know about gaming on this device, let me know. Check out uh, the Gaming First Look. Also check out uh, this video. Leave your comments down below if you have any comments. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Thunder E saying thank you.